my family has been put second for 20 years, you know. I uh, don't get to see them because I'm always out trying to do a really good job. And I'm choosing family over work right now. And so I'm going to miss this family, you know. What? Soon after Thanksgiving 1994, the late H. Lee Bryant, KTAL station president, hired me to work weekends as a 29-year-old recent college graduate based on a five-minute resume tape. He asked the Channel 6 news director, the late Gordon Grafton, to stop the tape three minutes into the viewing. Mr. Bryant looked at me and asked, Did you write all that? Uh, yes, sir. I gulped. Mr. Bryant then turned to Gordon and said, Hire that boy. <laughs> Gordon turned pale and said, Mr. Bryant, don't I need to talk about this? No, hire him. Well, the two walked into Mr. Bryant's office with Gordon emerging a few minutes later with the news. I had the job. Exactly what job? I didn't know at the time. What was the pay? Hell if I knew. But I had achieved my dream of landing a job as a sportscaster. I knew from the time I was five, watching Bud Campbell on KATV in Little Rock, what I wanted to do my whole life. Man, I, I try to memorize the verses in the First Methodist Hymnal in Monticello practicing for the news because at that time, I thought all the TV people memorized their lines, didn't know we had a prompter. <laughs> when Mr. Bryant made the call, little did I know what this vocation would mean to me. In 1999, after Paul Butler departed for Charlotte, I moved from weekend to Channel 6, the sports director here at KTBS. I have been afforded incredible opportunities, covered a Ryder Cup, BCS Championship Games, Super Bowls, Final Fours, the Masters, with a ticket assist from David Toms, and of course the College World Series. But it's the Friday nights that I'll remember and the Tuesdays in area gymnasiums and weekends on dusty baseball diamonds covering high school sports. The backbone of a community is how successful the youth are and how successful they can be. Thanks to tireless efforts from coaches, from Carthage to Texarkana to Nashville to Ruston to Natchitoches and all points in between, we are blessed to have men and women who have dedicated themselves to a profession with little shot at riches in the bank account, but grand rewards and truly paying it forward. To those coaches and to those athletes, they mentor from Arnaz Battle to the Zwally Hawks, Jacob Hester to Tredavious White, Elena Beard to Meredith Duncan. At some point, they all had a man or woman who set them down a path of success that has carried over and is carrying over into their personal lives. So thank you, coach, and thank you, athletes, for giving me a canvas to work with. They weren't all masterpieces, but every highlight, every Friday football fever was indeed a labor of love. But all those hours of work created a void. My daughter, Sydney, will be 22 this summer. She saw more of her father on TV than across a dinner table. My wife, Allie, whom I proposed to in the newsroom nine years ago, is basically a single mom to Caroline, who will be a senior at Magnet High next year, and Pierce, our broad-shouldered 13-year-old. I convinced myself they needed me at home, but in actuality, I need them. I miss my family, and I, uh... I don't want to be the guy on my deathbed saying I wish I would spend more time with my kids and my wife and less time at work. So I'm going to pour my energy into work with a radio show on AM 1130 The Tiger. We're going to be moving from three hours from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. I'm going to be writing on my blog at timfletchershow.blogspot.com, playing hoops with Pierce, sharing stories with Caroline, squeezing and hugging my daughter as often as possible, and walking through life with my wonderful partner, Allie. So... Let's say, I say goodbye, but we're so happy for you and your family yeah. and your future. I don't miss you guys. Yeah, Same here. You're just going to make fun of me now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can always phone in. We can do a phone. I, mean, I can do my best. I really am going to. Guys, this is a really, really great group of people here. And the folks behind the scenes you don't see, uh, whether it's you know Logan or Alex or Sparky or anybody that you hear back there, you know, uh, they're just really good folks and I know we're and I'm not moving away so it's not like I'm not going to get to see you guys but working here with you guys is just incredible we're finally going to play some golf we're going to find, finally oh, play some yeah. golf and you know because I'm going to be unemployed basically so the radio show I'll caddy for 20 bucks <laughs> and tips I'll, I'll be your foot wedge uh, there you go that's right. never right here folks I'm thank you very much appreciate it yeah. Yeah. miss you yeah, mm. alright guys we're going to take a break we'll be right back <laughs>